long time no video but school is really intense this year so that's just how it's going to be. This video is actually about free applications that will help you um, with school like with your organization and staying on top of everything. So they're all free applications and about half of them or more than half of them actually come with your Mac. So the first one is address book and obviously you use this for contacts but you can also use it to store let's say your teachers information so I've added a group you just click this plus button down here called teachers and a bunch of fake teachers so um, for example mr. Google I'm going to actually edit his information just to show you um, you put the name you can add their phone number if they give out their like work phone like their extension at your school or whatever their email at my school we communicate with our teachers by email we all have um, school email addresses and if for some reason you know where they live you can put that in as well and also create a card for your school itself so you can put the address the um, the phone number to your school all that and obviously it's good for storing your friends phone numbers so you can always contact them if you miss school and you need a homework assignment things like that next application is iCal and you can use this to keep up with school events and I mean any type of event really but this video is about school so I have a calendar devoted to school but another idea is actually creating separate calendars for each um, subject so I've created a history calendar as an example and I have a history test on Tuesday September 28th so I created a new event called history test to create a new event you just double click and you can put in all that information and I'm gonna edit this event by double clicking and hitting edit and so you can put in your location so I just put 306 let's say that was my room number you can put the time so whatever time that class is and um, which calendar belongs in and then what I like a lot is the alarm so I've set it as email and two days before so if for some reason I forgot I would get an email a couple days before the test reminding me I have a history test you can change that to say a message with a sound so another thing with iCal are to do's so if you just click this button it toggles the um, to do items view and you can add a new to do by hitting command K or file new to do and you can call whatever you want you can double click it to change the priority to say hi, due date, add an alarm, change what calendar it's part of, and once you're done with it, you just hit the little checkbox. So that's iCal. This application is Preview. Um, it's useful for viewing PDFs, but um, besides that, let's say you have to download a PDF for school and you want to actually take notes on the PDF itself you can use the annotate option and so now you can add arrows um, like a square around something you want to focus on circle some important info you can change the thickness of whatever line or you can make it dotted if you want you can highlight text um, you can add a note so let's say I want to add a note about this section right here you can type like, remember, remember this. That's preview. I have a whole video devoted to preview, and I'll have a link to that in the description. But that video was made a while ago, so things might have changed with the application. The final application I'm going to show you that comes on your Mac is Grapher. I actually spoke about this in my previous video. It's just a graphing application, but it's useful if um, like your graphing calculator is broken or you left it at school or you just want to check um, to make sure that a graph is right that you've done for homework or something if your school allows that don't do that if it's like cheating um, the next couple I'm going to show you are good for notes when I say notes I don't mean like taking notes in class I just mean like useful information so the first one is just notes 
it is in beta right now, but I haven't noticed any bugs. So I've added notes for a few subjects, and what I would do is just put the date and then whatever assignment you have. Then when it's time to like study for a test, you just go back and you scroll through all of the assignments that you've had for like that unit or whatever, or that chapter, and you can see what you've been learning. Uh, another thing is it's good to store useful information like a logger combination. Obviously, this is a fake lock combination. And what's really useful about it is that it syncs with Simple Note. Now, I'm going to quit this application and go open up Safari and go to simplenote.appspot.com. Or you can go to simplenoteapp.com if you don't have a Simple Note account. So, Simple Note syncs with a lot of Mac applications, or like Note Mac applications. And um, I sync it with an application called Notational Velocity, but you get all your notes right online, and it's useful for whenever you're at school and you need to look something up. Um, there's an iPhone and iPod Touch application for it if you like to use that, so it's very useful. You can access your notes wherever you are. And the next note app, note taking application is um, notational velocity and I've made a video where I speak about it a lot but I love this application it's it's like amazing I use it whenever I make videos I like write down notes of what my video is gonna be about or useful links that I'm gonna include in my video so and it also syncs with um, simple note this final application I'm showing you is called think and it's useful for concentrating on just one application at a time or you can actually concentrate on a couple applications at a time but you get this little palette here and you can change the um, opacity of the background and this bar shows your open applications so if I'm working on a word document I clicked word and now I can only work on word if I try clicking on the Safari window in the background it won't let me so you can change the opacity you can change the color if you want to. Now let's say I do temporarily want to bring Safari in. Let's say I'm doing some research or something using the internet. I have to click its icon in the dock. So now I can work on both Safari and the Word document. And if I try to click on this finder window here, it doesn't let me. So that's Link. Just a nice application for making sure that you don't get distracted on your computer. And that's it for this video. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you um, try out some of these ideas. And since I have not been making YouTube videos often because of school, you can please follow me on Twitter um, because I do update regularly there. And that way you'll know what's going on with me, like why I'm not making a video. So twitter.com slash italkapple. And I also have a blog, italkapple.tumblr.com. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.